Welcome everyone to Cook It My Way. I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite snacks today. If you're tired of bean tortillas, I'm going to show you an excellent alternative. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. And for this, I'm going to use a corn tortilla, the small size. You can use any brand. I don't care for some of the store brands in the bigger stores. I find they're kind of dry. I'm going to heat my pan up on frying temperature. Good and hot, ready to go. I don't use a lot of oil with this recipe. I just take a little bit of butter, dab a little bit on their tortilla like that, put it in the pan. Use some cheddar cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you like. I actually prefer provolone or Munster, a slice of Munster on there, but I just happen to have mild cheddar today. Put it goodly amount of cheese on there since I love cheese. I'm going to get a lid so that can start to melt. For this tortilla I'm going to use sauerkraut on there. Get the lid back off. Take a good fork full of sauerkraut out of a jar, about that, put it on there, put the lid back on. Now sauerkraut is very healthy and they say Captain Cook used it on his voyages to help keep his crew healthy and I love it. Now the next thing I'm going to put on there is some chili sauce. I use one called Sambal Olek. I don't know where it's from. It might be China or Thailand. It's a really good product. And I use a goodly amount of that. A good spoon of it. I like it hot. Look like that. Away. That's how it will look. Put the lid back on. I'm going to show you how this works in real time. This doesn't take long at all. I eat a lot of these. If you're tired of bean tortillas or regular tortillas that you usually make, this is a really good alternative. I think you're really going to like it. And that's done cooking. Another ingredient I'm going to use is called nutritional yeast, which is not what it says on the label of this jar, but it's a product you can get at your co-op or Whole Foods or a store like that, a bite in bulk, and it's a yeast product. It looks like that. It's kind of the, you can get it in powder or flake. I like the flake better. It's very nutritious. It has a lot of the B vitamins and protein in there. I'm just going to put a goodly amount in there. Lid back on. Put that away. I'm going to check it. You don't really have to cook for the sauerkraut or the chili pepper since it's ready to go, but uh, I like it good and hot. And I have this solder. Check the bottom. I want a nice golden brown on the bottom, and the cheese needs to be really melted very well. Put that back on. We're going to wait. Let's see how we're doing. It don't take long. Yeah, and you get a nice 
golden color underneath. And nice and hot on the top. Now another product I'm going to put on there, believe it or not, is some cod liver oil. This is the Arctic brand. Kind of expensive. It's very high in omega-3s. And I buy the one that has no flavor added. I don't like the orange flavor or the lemon flavor. If you're going to have a cod liver oil, you want it to taste like fish. You're not going to cover it up with, with a flavoring like orange. It's still going to taste like fish, which is an attribute that you're going to want to have. I'm not going to put the cod liver oil on there yet because I don't want it, the heat to destroy any of the nutrient values in the cod liver oil, which is very, very healthy. Good way to eat it. Check the bottom. Almost there. Give it another minute. And I'm getting hungry. See how we got some nice little brown spots on the bottom? You're not going to burn the tortilla, but you're going to get it golden. And we are ready to roll. Turn off my burner. Slide it on the plate. Add just a little bit of the cod liver oil. Like that. That's all you need. Flavor that up, it's gonna make it really healthy. And fold it. Mm. You're gonna love it. <laughs>